Jonathan Rizzo with TTN HD Productions. We're covering the Boston Film Night. I'm here with Mike Messier of God's Country. Hi, I'm the writer and director, co-producer of God's Country, a short film that's featured in the 8 o'clock uh, screening here at Boston Film Night. Glad to be here. Tell me about the film, Mike. Well, God's Country is a 15-minute short based on scenes from a full-length full script I've written called Wrestling with Sanity, which is about the anguish of mental illness against the escapism of pro wrestling entertainment. In God's Country, we see a couple of scenes where the lead character, Eddie Paws, played by uh, my friend and actor uh, Mark Carter, uh, shares his theories on God with his therapist, the lovely Irina Pellegrad, who's from Brighton, Mass. And um, that's basically it in a nutshell. I'm trying to get uh, funding for the feature to be made, but uh, making a short on a low budget is a great first step. And being featured in Boston Film Night can only help my situation. Yeah. Glad to be here. Why this type of film? Well, uh, you know, to share a little bit about myself, I've, I've suffered, my family suffered through mental illness. And uh, as a child, I became engrossed in pro wrestling escapism. As I got to be uh, a young college guy, um, I had theories on God or different God systems. And uh, so, so this is a manifestation of my own thoughts. Um, a lot of writers write from their own experiences, and that's what I've done here. Wow, very interesting. Uh, how did you meet your key cast and crew members? Well, Mark Carter and I uh, knew each other going back 12 or 15 years in Providence, Rhode Island. He's a, kind of a local hero as far as uh, open word, spoken mic uh, musicianship goes. Irina, I met at the um, Rough Cuts International Film Conference in 2000. Uh, seven, I believe, and uh, she auditioned for her role. Uh, Mark, I kind of just handed him the role because I knew he could do it. I had to have an audition for the lead actress, and Irina was by far the clear-cut choice. She's a great actress. Wow. What kind of budget were you dealing with here? Uh, if I, I just... <laughs> pocket change? Pocket change. I'm taking out my wallet to show you that whatever is in it's the pocket... It's a pretty pocket, thick wallet there, It's a buddy. pretty thick <laughs> wallet. It's a Costanza wallet. But uh, whatever, you know, me and my friend and co-producer Tim Labonte, who's also my DP editor, we scrounge together any nickels, dimes, dollars we can put. Uh, try to give the, the actress a, a few bucks for her gas money, but the actors pretty much worked for free. And uh, I, I wouldn't even call it a low-budget movie. I'd call it a no-budget movie. But, but thanks to my mom, uh, Phyllis Messier, for buying me a camera five or six years ago, a Sony uh, VX2000 camera, which is pretty nice. Yeah. It does the trick for a, a short film like this. Yeah. And then lunches? How do you Lunchables. <laughs> Lunchables by Oscar Mayer. Uh, two, for, two for five dollars, usually at Shaw's. Or uh, I see they have a lot of Tedeschi's here in Somerville. And in Rhode Island, we have Shaw's and Stop and Shop. None of the aforementioned have sponsored this production. <laughs> yeah, I should start charging for all these plugs I'm throwing out. And so you said the, the VX2000, what other equipment did you use? Uh, we have a, what's a very simple microphone called a Rode mic that attaches on top of the uh, camera. It serves the purpose of a boom mic, except it's a lot less expensive. It's only $80. Nice. And for, for, you get a lot of bang for your buck. You get a lot of audio for your 80 bucks. Very nice. And that's basically it. We had two cameras. Me and Tim have the same Sony VX2000 and uh, natural light in an indoor apartment that had a lot of windows. That's it. How long did it take to shoot this? We shot over uh, three, three days. We auditioned, I'm sorry, we, we rehearsed for uh, about six weeks. So the rehearsal period was much longer than the actual shoot. And that's the way I like to do things. I like to shoot my movies almost like plays, a lot of rehearsal and then bang them out quick when it comes to shooting. Because people, actors especially, can lose their, uh, their focus if you keep them on set for too many time doing the same lines over and over. Yeah, yeah, totally true. What other kinds of obstacles did you overcome? production obstacles um, it's just scheduling is always tough for a short filmmaker you know yeah. scheduling you have your actors but we keep our crew and cast pretty small of four people so we didn't have too many obstacles I think the the, the obstacle now is to go from a, a nice short film that's won a couple of awards we won uh, the Imagine News um, Boston Comedy Film Festival we tied with Kevin Anderton's film Gay Marriage last summer and we also won Rough Cuts Film Conference Audience Choice Award Try to use that momentum to, to make a feature-length film. And there's a script already there. Just need some funding and some uh, pro wrestling footage in a psychiatric hospital, third act. That's all it needs. <laughs> That's it. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what's the message behind this, then? I guess you've already covered a little bit, but what's the main message behind driving the film? 
Well, I, the message uh, of God's country in particular is just um, having sympathy or empathy for people that are under mental distress and seeing that they're not all, uh, you know, people that are homeless. They, they can be functional, functional people but mentally ill at the same time. They walk among you, so to speak. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just uh, something that, uh, to keep in mind. And also just entertainment. I think it's an entertaining piece with sharp dialogue and great performances from my actors. So you put your 15 minute investment in watching it, you should get your money's worth, um, especially if you see it for free. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. Oh man, uh, now tell me, uh, tell me about the film world around here. You seem to be pretty involved. Uh, what's going on around Boston, around the world? Where have you been with it and uh, what's going on? I'm actually uh, more of a Rhode Island type of guy myself, but I mean, Kevin Anderton has his finger on the tip of Boston. There's a guy named Chris who, uh, I think his piece is called The Unsigned, and you might talk to him later. He's a great guy. Um, there's a lot of guys, I think Dave O'Connor's in there, uh, a lot of people doing good things. And uh, there's, there's, a, there's a whole lot of talent that uh, just needs to be focused a bit. And I think you're going to see great things coming out of both Boston and Rhode Island and the whole uh, New England area, to tell you the truth. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for uh, for the interview, and I, I can't wait to see the film, man. Thank you. If uh, if you don't mind, I can say just visit MikeMessier.com after you're done watching everything on their website, which is great. <laughs> I want to thank you and uh, your crew for helping uh, promote my film and having me on as a guest. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. We're all in this together, buddy. So, hey, this is Jonathan Rizzo with TTN HD Productions. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate it. Man. Thanks. Yeah, that was awesome.